Hi guys, welcome to the fourth and final lesson. In this lesson we'll be managing container and interaction states. So in this final lesson we'll be looking at how to create basic interactions between states. And to show you this, I'll start with our rating star system down here. So let's highlight the rating star group on the left hand side in the layers panel here and convert this to a container. So using the containers panel on the left hand side here, let's double click inside our ratings component and zoom in on this. Okay, cool. So for our rating component, we might want five different states to show each star rating, right? From one to five. And we want to be able to reuse that container and change the states easily. So to do this, we first need to set all of our stars to white and this will be our state one. We'll then want to add a state for every star that we fill. So let's start off by filling these with white. Done. Select the border and add that to orange. Okay, done. So at the bottom of the browser here, I'm not sure if you guys can see it on the screen, just uh, because of the resolution of my laptop. Let me move the browser up a little bit. Okay, cool. So on the bottom of the screen here, you can see our container states. And this is our first state where all of our stars are white. So now what we want to do is add a state for every star that we fill. So let's first add a new container state and we'll fill in the first star. So we don't need a border on this, but we do want to fill it. Done. That's our second state. Our third state is exactly the same. We want to remove the border. That's okay. And we just want to go through and add same state for each. Done. New container state for our fourth star. Done. Remove the border. And then for our final state, our fifth star will be filled with the orange. Okay. Cool. Okay, let's save that. So now if we go back to our product listing page and zoom out like so, our rating star system, at least this one is our converted uh, container, will be set by default to state one and our state one was that none of these stars will be filled. So let's go in here and select our container. Uh, so this is our rating star container. On the right hand side here underneath the inspector panel you will see the container state. Now like I said by default it will set this to state 1. If we click this we'll have all of the various states that we've set and we know that state 2 is 1 star, state 3 is 2, 4 is 3 etc 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 okay. So what we can do here is set this to state 4 like so and this will change that state to fill those three stars. But let's say this is a particularly good bike and it's gotten a really good rating. So we can set that to five stars on our state six. So the beauty of this is that we can now reuse this container elsewhere, but we can change the states. So we're not duplicating components needlessly. So let's copy this rating star system here and then go to our second product. Let's remove that rating star container down there and paste our one uh, that we've got up here. So let's drag that down to this second product, like so. Place it in the middle. Make sure that's aligned horizontally. Okay, and now this is going to have a different rating, right? But it's using the same component. So let's go back to our container state and we can change the state here to state 2. This is a particularly bad bike. So what we've got there is the exact same container being used in multiple places, but I'm showing you different states within each of these products. And that's such an awesome, really powerful tool that Proto.io does really, really well. Okay, awesome. Now let's look at interaction states. So let's go back to our product detail page. Oh, sorry, our product detail page here. And let's zoom in a little. Okie dokie. 
So to enable interaction states, you must first convert the element on the canvas to a container and we'll be making this buy now button into an interactive state. So let's right click that and convert to container. Okay, cool. So in our containers panel on the top left hand side now, if we scroll to the bottom, we'll have our buy now button here. I think it's just waiting to preview that image. Okay, let's double click inside the container. Okay. So let's imagine that we'd like this buy now button to bounce into the viewport when the user first loads the page. So thinking back to our finished prototype that I showed you in the very, very first lesson, the buy now button sort of crept in from, uh, from the bottom of the screen and it just added a really, really nice bit of finesse to the page. So first, uh, our first state will want to drag the button off the canvas completely. So let's highlight the button and drag this off the canvas completely, like so. And this is our first container state. Then we'll want to create another state and drag the button back onto the canvas. So first things first, let's create a new state, state two, and then drag the button back onto the canvas. Now we we'll want to set up a screen interaction between these two states. To do this, click State Transitions and New State Transitions. So at the bottom here, we'll go State Transitions and we'll go New State Transition. So we've only got two states. Our first one is when our Buy Now button is off of the canvas completely. And our second state is when we've moved it back up. So we just want to add maybe just a nice little fade or a nice little ease in and ease out between those two states. So when I click Create, so now Proto.io has automatically generated a smooth transition for us between these two states. You can play around with the uh, with the state down here. You can play around with the timings and you can preview that and you can apply different, uh, different transition effects and whatnot. But I think we'll just leave this for now. Just a simple ease in and ease out effect is all we need. Uh, so now what we want to do is actually trigger our interaction when the user hits the page for the very first time. And to do this, we'll need to go back to our screen state. So let's go back to our screen and hit our product detail page. Let's just save. Okie dokie. So on the right hand side in the interactions panel you'll see the option to create a new interaction so in our inspector here there's a little lightning bolt if we click on that we'll see the option to create a new interaction we haven't got any page interactions at the moment yet but we can create some so let's create new page interaction so let's name our interaction uh, show by now button so the trigger should be set to screen show, which is fine. And the action should be to change the container state. So let's imagine, let's think back to our buy now button and, and try and make sense of that. So what I want to tell proto.io is that when the user loads the page, I want to change the state from uh, the buy now button being off of the canvas to being on the canvas. So when the user loads the screen, the buy now button will fly in from the bottom of the screen. So let's select our screen as product detail. That's correct. We want it to happen on, uh, on this page. And we want to select our container as, uh, I think it's our buy now button there. I haven't named it, which is very naughty of me. Okay, cool. We'll also want to change the state to uh, state two when the interaction is triggered. So we can highlight down here, state two. Cool. Now we want to save this interaction. So we'll just click save. Okay, cool. So we've got our first interaction. Lastly, in order for the interaction to work uh, every time we load the prototype or every time the user goes back to the page, we'll also want to set the button to its default state when we leave that product detail screen. So to do this, we need to add another page interaction. So let's hit page interaction and let's name this uh, hide by now button. Okay. Our trigger will then be to screen hide. So when the user navigates off of the product detail page, the action will be the same thing, change the container state. 
on our product detail page the container will be our buy now button and we'll want to change this back to state one so we're resetting the animation as it were when the user leaves the product details page okay all right let's save that interaction okay let's uh, save our document by hitting command s and let's preview our prototype so fingers crossed this should work okay cool so we've got our two products here let's click on our first product on our bike and yeah there we go our buy now button uh, seamlessly flies in from the bottom of the screen and it just adds that really really nice simple bit of uh, finesse to the entire prototype and it's looking really great so I hope you've enjoyed this really short showcase of uh, proto.io uh, go and try this software out for yourself and let me know what you all think